Hi, this is Carl. Welcome back to this video in the software tutorial series. This video, I'm going to remake a video that I did several years ago. The reason I'm remaking it is because the screen capture software was so out of date and so fuzzy. So I'm going to go ahead and recapture this video and do a couple more in the future. We are going to use Corel Draw. I have version X3, and we're going to make this scroll saw pattern. Of course, you won't want to use my name. Use anybody's name that you want. But I'm going to show you the process of making this. This is probably one of the easiest projects you could do in Corel Draw for scroll saw pattern. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to follow over here and grab my text tool. Left click come down here and I have Cooper Black as my font picked out up here. You can use any font that you like. I just happen for this project like using Cooper Black. So I'm going to type in my name Carl and grab the one of the corner nodes, left click and drag. There we go. So I'm going to move these characters into closer to each other. Come up here to the text. Character formatting, correct. So you'll see this bar pops up. So I'm going to come make sure my text tool is highlighted. I'm going to left click and drag three of these letters just like you would in a word program. Now the character formatting you'll see the character shift. I'm going to go to the horizontal. I'm just going to grab one letter at a time. Go to the horizontal right here. The bottom arrow left click a couple of times until you find the spacing that you like. I'm going to do that with the R as well. Come over to the horizontal bottom arrow, left click, put it to the spacing that you're happy with. I'm going to do the same for the L. Highlight it, come over here. Now if you hold it down, it'll move a few characters at a time. Okay, that's close enough for tutorial purposes. So now I'm going to add the one bar at the bottom. So I'm come over here to the rectangle tool, left click and drag, make this to whatever you think looks good for your project. Now to line these up perfectly with a K, come over here, left click on the ruler, left click and drag, it'll bring this line over here, this dotted line. So I'm going to have come up here to the pick tool, highlight the rectangle. So I'm going to grab the center mountain node and pull it over to it touches that line. Close enough. So I'm going to move that over to the right side and do the same. Make sure the rectangle is highlighted. Left click and drag. Close enough. So now I'm going to move it up. You see I'm left clicking on the center node, which is an X. Left click, I'm just going to drag it up. Close enough. Okay, we want this to be outline letters instead of solid fill. So I'm going to highlight all these. Come over to my color palette. Left click on white right click on black there we go almost done now we need to weld all these together so I'm just going to left click and drag here all of them are highlighted come up here to arrange shaping and weld there we go there's your finished scroll saw pattern you'll want to cut out the A inside of the K the two parts of the A two parts of the R 
So, how did I get this wood grain pattern looking in here? I'm going to show you that. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to left click on that and delete it. If I come up here to my tools icon, my tools bar, come down to my scrapbook and hit browse. Now this is a folder that I had previously saved. A bunch of different wood grain colors that I got off Google. I'm just going to drag this one over here. That's kind of cool looking. So I'm going to left click on drag. I'm just going to barely cover up right here. So I'm going to take this one and pull it down. Get it close to the same size. I'm going to pull this one over. Whoops. Did that wrong. You probably noticed that left click this and stretch it out okay once I get it close to the same size as the the pattern move it out of the way come up here to effects power clip place inside container there you go pretty cool nice easy little project very easy to learn I do appreciate watching